Hi everyone, today I will be conditioning my mom's friend named Dana. In the end, we hope to see a conditioned response by flinching from the ring bell on the phone. We will begin with our neutral stimulus, which is the phone bell, to produce no response. We will then begin our first real trial with the neutral stimulus, the phone bell, and then throw a marker, which is the unconditioned stimulus, creating an unconditioned response of flinching. This process will repeat five times. I will ring the bell and then throw a marker. After the five trials of conditioning, I will leave the marker out and just ring the bell, which becomes the conditioned stimulus to create the conditioned response of flinching. The conditioned response is the learned response to a previously neutral stimulus. In our experiment, our conditioned response is the flinch. The conditioned stimulus is an originally irrelevant stimulus that becomes associated with an unconditioned stimulus, which triggers a conditioned response. In our experiment, our conditioned response is the thumb bell. The neutral stimulus is the stimulus which initially produces no specific response before conditioning. But after conditioning, it becomes the conditioned stimulus. In our experiment, our neutral stimulus is the bell. The unconditioned response is the unlearned naturally occurring response to the unconditioned stimulus. In our experiment, our unconditioned response is a flinch. The unconditioned stimulus is a stimulus that naturally and automatically triggers a response. In our experiment, our unconditioned stimulus is the marker. Oh, that's not